It's, it's really, really very exciting. You know, we're the first health board across Wales to say across all of our hospitals that we're going to be getting rid of desflurane. It was a mutual decision for the whole anaesthetic department, so I think it really shows a united and concerted effort by all members of the anaesthetic team and the theatre staff in general towards really addressing the environmental impacts of our practice, which up until very recently is something that hasn't been in the forefront of people's minds. Healthcare uh, contributes 5% of our global warming uh, across the UK, and within that, 5% of um, a 5% of that is from the agents that we use for keeping people asleep during their anaesthetic. Anesthetists can contribute up to 500 kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalent um, into the atmosphere every single day. And just put that into perspective, the average UK citizen with their daily activities, their carbon footprint really is 25 kilograms of carbon dioxide equivalent. So it's quite a sizable, quite a sizable environmental impact that we have through our daily work. There's a, an initiative across Wales called Project Drawdown where we've really been looking at our desflurane usage. So this is the one of the anaesthetic gases we use to keep our patients asleep. So we know that this has got um, a environmental footprint 2,540 times more potent than carbon dioxide. So um, one hour duration anaesthetic with desflurane is the equivalent of driving 300 miles in a car. Whereas if we compare it to some of the other agents we use like sevoflurane, another one of the gases that we use, it's only equivalent of 36 miles in a car for a one hour anaesthetic. And then Propofol, and one of the medications that we can give for a drip is only about 11.7 miles. So it's really, really significant. So that's something we've been really targeting. Up until recently, even though desflurane only made about 5% of our anaesthetic gas usage, it made up 38% of our environmental impact in the work that we do. So again, a disproportionate impact into our, that environmental footprint. Um, we know that there are significant health impacts, not just in the UK but globally, um, that are impacted directly by um, climate change. So thinking in terms of the care that we provide to individual patients in our theatre each day, it's nice to know that if we're making greener changes to our practice, then we are lessening the impact to the wider planet as a whole from the damaging, uh, harmful effects of some of the agents that we've been using historically. And it's something that we need to be more mindful of, and we are becoming more mindful of moving forward with our practice, whilst at the same time not impacting on the quality of the care that we're providing our patients.